All right, welcome back to the channel. I want to show you guys how to do an object removal so we can go from this to this. Let's check out how I would do it. I basically took the clip that we needed and placed it on top. And then behind that, I just zoomed in and got to an area where when we cut this plant out, watch where the mouse cursor is. It's pretty much pure sky behind it. So I'm using the clip itself as its own back plate. So let's jump over to the color page and add what we need to do this. So with the top clip selected, we need to add a key and a node. So if you don't see your blue dot, you can right click and say add alpha output and this little blue dot on the right will show up. I'm gonna hit option S and add a node. And then I'm gonna connect that key out to the timeline key out. And as you can see, that pretty much chopped out the top clip from the bottom clip. But now we need to cut out this plant. What we're going to do is go to our power windows and choose our pen tool. And we could start here in the black and just kind of make our way down next to it. It doesn't have to be super precise because as I showed you, we have a little bit of room to work with around the plant. If you needed to get in there and really zoom in, you can do that depending on what you're trying to crop out. So we draw around it and connect it. And now it's essentially let everything outside of the key through with this little button down here and now that inverts our key and keys out inside the window and then leaves everything on the outside alone now there's a couple things we need to do first up if i hit shift h that's our highlight and this shows you exactly where you're cutting out so let's zoom in a little bit and you can see if i shut the power window off you get this hard edge right here so we want it to be a little softer. So down here in your window controls, there's an outside. We're gonna to toggle that up and it basically feathers your window. And you can go, there's a inside and an outside soft. There's a softness for global down here. But right now I just wanna focus on the edges. So I'm gonna shut off the highlight and we'll go ahead and play this. There's one more thing we gotta do. Let's go full screen one more time. And as the shot moves here, you could see you get a little bit of the leaf in the plant gets revealed because the window moves out of place. So let's go back to the start of the shot here and we'll choose the clip with the window on it. And right next to the power windows is our tracker. So we're gonna hit tracker and this little crosshair is already selected on the right side. That means we're tracking the power window and we can see clip is highlighted so it's ready to track through the entire clip. I'm gonna choose this track forward and reverse arrow right here and Hit it and then you'll see these little pluses appear inside your tracking area and that's where resolves grabbing its tracking data from uh, generally speaking you need to have a high contrast area but resolve does a pretty great job latching onto whatever it needs so now if we scroll through the shot we can see the window moves along with the movement of the shot we'll go back to the start here hit p for full screen and hit play and that's our shot with the key and that's how you can use the clip as a backplate, at least in this case. Draw your window, invert the key, add the alpha output, and track your movement all inside the color page. All right, as always, I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.